welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we will be doing a battle of the vault tracks. Obviously Taylor Swift just dropped Speak Now Taylor's version and she's been giving us all sorts of fun things with these vault tracks and today I'm going to be doing a bracket battle with them. But before you hop into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you love all things music. Alright, so I was inspired by Nina Shelby who recently did a video ranking all of the Taylor Swift vault tracks. But instead of ranking it, I thought I would do a little bit tournament style. So hopefully when we get the next few vault tracks, we can start adding them to this tournament bracket. Because right now, my calculations only tell me that we have 23 um, songs, vault songs to put into the bracket. And it's normally 32. So my guess is if she drops 1989 Taylor's version, we will have eclipsed that. I already know what's going to win. If you can't tell by the shirt what era from the song or the song from which era is going to win because it's in here. But yeah, I have all of them put into the bracket. I did no rhyme or reason how I paired them up. I just put them in the order that they released. So without further ado, let's battle it out with these vault songs. All right, let's start this tournament here. All right, so in our first round bracket, we have I Bet You Think About Me versus Message in a Bottle. Now I'm going to get some hate for this one. Now I Bet You Think About Me is a superior country song. However, even though I was born in Tennessee and I grew up on country music, if you can't tell from the, the subtle dialect accent that's going on here, um, I'm a pop girly, pop production girly, through and through, so Message in a Bottle has my heart, therefore Message in a Bottle will win this mashup, this pairing. Then we move on to one that is very obvious, All Too Well 10 versus Timeless. I don't think I love Timeless as much as like everyone else within the Swifty fandom does because I feel like Timeless, well I mean I think the entire Speak Now vault track is really like a whole mixed match of like who likes what. But Timeless is like my lowest ranked on Speak Now Vault. Again, slow ballady songs are not usually my thing. But really anything that goes up against All 2L10 will lose because All 2L10 is the most superior song of all time in my opinion. So All 2L10 will win that battle. Then we have Better Man versus The Very First Night. I have to say that Better Man, I never had much of an attachment to to begin with, even when Little Big Town released it. Better Man Taylor's version, I think, is the superior version of the song that we've heard compared to Little Big Town. I guess that depends on uh, who's uh, speaking. But like I said, I'm a pop production girly and the very first night is absolute pop perfection and I want to hear that live so much. I mean, when she played Message in a Bottle live, that live stream was just having me live in life, feeling the good, good feels. So, very first night is my winner for this one. Then we have Run versus Nothing New. Now, Run is my lowest ranked um, vault track on Red. Um, so, I think you can probably figure out where that's going to go. And Nothing New is the song that I quoted when I turned 22 last year. 22 shirt. This is what I wore to the Eras Tour vlog linked up here. And I was at the Eras Tour um, when she first played Nothing New Live with Phoebe Bridgers. So, special place in my heart for Nothing New. Okay, moving out of Red Vault tracks, we have Foolish One versus All of the Girls You Loved Before. I don't know what the opinions are on Foolish One, how much we love, don't love that and within the fandom. I definitely, this one was a grower for me. It's probably my second to last ranked on the Speak Now Vault. If you want to see me rank those, go check out my TikTok. Links down below. But all the girls you loved before is just, it just is. I don't know how to describe it. I love the vibes, the bridge. Watching that performed live, truly, truly magnificent. Granted, I didn't see it live. I saw it via the live stream, but yeah. So all the girls you loved before is going to win that round for me. Okay, You're Losing Me versus Castles Crumbling. Now, here is the dilemma I have here. You're Losing Me. You're Losing Me, I would say, 
especially if she, once or if or when she releases on streaming, like I get to listen to it like thoroughly, I think has the superiority level of would have, could have, should have, and all too well 10 for me. And I think it'll definitely, it definitely will be in my top 10. But she hasn't released it on streaming, so I don't know how anyone's going to react to this. Castle's Crumbling was a song that grew exponentially for me. Truly fantastic. The emotion in both of these songs is just heart-wrenching, especially in the Castle's Crumbling Bridge, truly. But I think I've cried more to You're Losing Me, so based off that logic, You're Losing Me will win. I think I know what two songs is going to come down to eventually in the end, but we'll see. Then in the last round, last round of the first section, Babe versus Forever Winter. So this may be an unpopular opinion, but I think Babe OG, which I don't listen to Babe OG because I did check and it is produced and released by Big Machine Records, so we are not going to support them. But Babe OG, I think I liked some of the vocals more on that versus Babe Taylor's version. But, I mean, it's Taylor's version, so we support Taylor's version. Um, but, again, I don't know that I have the same amount of attachment to Babe that I feel like everyone had going into Red. Um, and Forever Winter just hits on topics that hit a little too close to home for me. So, um, Forever Winter. Forever Winter will be my winner for that. I feel like I've just pissed off so many people with just the first round of this entire, like, bracket. So, second round of the bracket, we have You All Over Me versus Message in a Bottle. Oh, by the way, don't pay attention to the numbers on here because I didn't give any of these actual rank. Um, you All Over Me is what, I think it's the first official Vault Track lead single that we ever got. Listen, I appreciate Taylor's Country Days, but this song just is a little slow for me. I don't listen to a lot of slow songs. I need anger, I need angst, I need... Pop production, I need a lot of that. And we all know that Message in a Bottle, Message in a Bottle just has like the things that scratch my brain and it makes me happy. So Message in a Bottle is gonna win. Next up, we have a new pairing, I Can See You versus When Emma Falls in Love. So I think we can all agree that the Speak Now Vault, well, okay. I think the Speak Now Vault on the whole collectively together is my favorite collection of vault tracks. I don't know if it has my favorite vault songs on it, though. But When Emma Falls in Love is just a cute, like, sweet little, like, friendship, like, light country number. But I can see you. I love me a sexy, poppy song. And it just is, is great. And I just watched her perform it live on the live stream last night. And just, perfection. So I can see you will win. For this battle. Don't You versus All Too Well 10. Listen, when we only had Don't You, like all only had the fearless fault, like Don't You and Mr. Perfectly Fine where my rider dies, but we have other things. And again, we have All Too Well 10. Nothing is going to beat All Too Well 10. It's the number one of number ones for me. I'm sorry, Don't You. You had a bad pairing there. How the cookie crumbles. Okay. The very first night versus that one. I don't love that's when, listen, I enjoy it, I don't love it. That's, that's really all I can say. I mean, I like all Taylor Swift songs, just not one that I really listen to, and the very first night I listen to a lot. So, the very first night will win. We Were Happy versus Nothing New. We Were Happy is my least favorite Fearless Vault track, for reasons of it's very slow. Um, again, we, we love Taylor's ballads, however, slow ballads, slow piano-y, guitar-y ballads are not my thing, not my general go-to's. And again, nothing new has that nostalgia for me, that general, like, heiress tour attachment for me. So, we have nothing new winning that one. Then we have All of the Girls You Loved Before versus Bye Bye Baby. I feel like Bye Bye Baby is a slept-on track, like... She is just, she's a fun little country song. And the fact that this is the closer to the fearless TV area, era, not area, I think is perfect. But all of the girls you loved before, I think just, there's no way it wasn't going to take the cake in this battle. <sighs> oh, no. 
We have Electric Touch versus You're Losing Me. Now, Electric Touch is my most played and most loved um, vault song from the Speak Now era. And we might need to see how time tells whether or not Electric Touch can reach the level of You're Losing Me. But again, it's that emotion and production that gets me every time I hear You Losing Me. And I don't know if I have a propensity to go towards sad bops versus like happy bops. But You're Losing Me has to take the cake. Oh, I didn't want to be losing Electric Touch this early, but I guess that's just the way, way it worked itself out. So now we have Forever Winter versus Mr. Perfectly Fine. I think my gut instinct is Mr. Perfectly Fine. I think I have these both on the same level for me. So, Mr. Perfectly Fine for the key change alone has to win. We're in round number three now, if I can eventually get back to the top. So that puts Message in a Bottle versus I Can See You. We have a dilemma here because Message in a Bottle is a long-term vault fave and I Can See You is a new vault fave. Do I go with long-term or like short-term in this instance? I don't know. I don't know that I've played I Can See You as much as I've played Message in a Bottle. But I Can See You Live, stuck in my brain from last night. I don't know if I'm going to regret this. No, I'm not. No, I'm going to choose Message in a Bottle. I'm going with OG Vault so far. So that one was much, much harder than I thought it would be. <sighs> All 2L10 versus the very first night. My top two on the red vault. I'm very sorry, very first night, but all 2L10 will always win. It just will. So now we have nothing new versus all of the girls you loved before. To all the nothing new lovers, all the nothing new stands, the lover album takes the cake on this. It was eventually going to happen. Nothing new was eventually going to be booted. It just is this way. And now we have You're Losing Me versus Mr. Perfectly Fine, and there's no contest here for me. You're Losing Me. You're Losing Me was going to be, was going to be it. Okay, second to last battle, we have Message in a Bottle versus All to Well 10. So Message in a Bottle is the third favorite song on uh, Red Vault. Again, All to Well 10. I can't really add much more than that. But here is a good one. All of the girls versus You're Losing Me. You're Losing Me has to win. And I think it worked its way out that all 1210 versus You're Losing Me is how it shook out in the end, which is good because I'm pretty sure last time I ranked my favorite Taylor Swift songs, All Too Well was number one, What Have Could Have Should Have was number two. Or was it I did something bad? I don't know. There's like a good selection, but All Too Well 10, Would Have, Could Have, Should Have, and You're Losing Me are like guaranteed top 13s for me right now. That Also, I did something bad, don't blame me, are also guaranteed because those never leave the top 10 for me. So it's not surprising to me that that's how this worked its way out. But as it always happens, All Too Well 10... Even if I don't always listen to it as much as I did when Red came out, will always be the forever superior vault song in my eyes. So All Too Well 10 is our winner. And that was my official Battle of the Vault tracks for Taylor Swift. Now I am filming this Friday night of the sec or second night of the LA Airs tour. And we all know sneaky, sneaky things have been happening. We all expect sneaky, sneaky things to happen in these next two weeks. So, by the time you see this video on either Monday or Friday, I don't know when I'll put it out, um, new vaults, new stuff may be announced. Who knows? If she surprise drops slash surprise announces things, congrats to the LA crowd. Sounds fun for you. But uh, I'll do some reaction to it. So let me know what your favorite vault song is and how it would have worked out in your bracket.